Now that we've seen an example of the atomic property, let's go ahead and get to our next property, which is consistency. So let's do that. This is our consistency property. And for this example, I'm going to use a, a social media example. Um, maybe you want to think about Facebook. And in this example, we're going to have users uh, that have um, archived communication. So that might be messages like in an inbox or um, likes and status and so forth. And then, so we'll do this and we'll make sure it's clear. Then one user, a user uh, wishes to delete their account. And we don't have to be malicious about it. Maybe they just uh, don't find that social media site useful anymore or whatever. Now, what do we do? Now, there are, are probably something like uh, say users and there are messages and in here you might have a, a to ID and you might have a from ID in, in your message as an example. So there might be actually uh, this kind of relationship going on right here. And one referential We'll write this down, referential integrity constraint that you may want to encode in your database is that these IDs and this message have to actually point to a real user and that real user can't um, disappear because then we wouldn't know who the message is, is to and from. So that might be the constraint that we're going to deal with here. If we did not have consistency, then this would be acceptable. That the user deleting themselves from the account would cause themselves to disappear from that user's table. And all of a sudden our message, either on the to or from, would not have a pointer back. And we can argue about whether that's good or not, but we have put in this referential integrity constraint and we've said that all messages have to have a from and a to user. And so that would violate the constraint. So in our, our web page, when we're trying to display for the user that still has an account, the message, they don't know who that message was to or from and so it can be confusing. So this might be an argument for why Facebook doesn't technically delete your account, it just archives it for later. And so that is a, a possibility to keep it consistent is maybe we do an archive instead. Uh, but if we didn't, what, what, would, what would our web page look like? How would we display who that message was, was to or from? We couldn't. And so this consistency makes sure that if we try to violate some referential integrity constraint or any other constraint that we put in the system, to be honest, and there are a number of different kinds of constraints. And since this isn't a course on databases, you, you would um, really want to look those up uh, in a database book or, or to take the database class. But if any constraint is violated, it, with this consistency clause, it's going to result in aborting the database. So if violated, then we abort. So that is another instance where we, we have an abort. Just like we, we saw with Atomic, you can abort if we can't do all our operations. In this case, you can think of this as not being able to do all our operations, but it's because 
some sort of constraint, whether it's a value constraint, uh, whether it's a relationship constraint, um, uh, static or dynamic constraint. There, there are, like I said, there are uh, quite a few number of these different constraints that can exist that we can try to codify. And if they don't um, work, then we want to uh, abort that transaction so that we don't get into a bad state, an inconsistent state that we can't recover from.